Perhaps like no time in, in recent memory is social science more important. We have increases in immigration uh, in, in most modern societies. Various populations are being displaced from their homelands. We have an increase in inequality within most modern industrial nations that calls for analysis as to why and what can we do about that and are there potential problems with that. There's also some evidence of a decline in intergenerational social mobility. There's also growing evidence to suggest that access to university education is not as high as it once was. I mean, in other words, it's not available to, to underprivileged kids in the same way it was decades ago. All of these things could have consequences for the opportunities of our citizens. They require serious attention. Not surprisingly then, there's been a rise in populism. Some populations feel left behind. There's various challenges facing democracy today. NEST will help us address those questions. The goal of NEST is to conduct high quality, rigorous, interdisciplinary research that addresses issues and challenges facing society today. NEST will bring together the six research centers within the Faculty of Social Science for collaboration and cooperation. Uh, the focus of the Center for Computational and Quantitative Social Science is really about developing new tools and disseminating information on existing tools for social science researchers. I think it can help the other centers to deploy the most rigorous, cutting-edge research that they can. Uh, rather than focusing on a particular political question or a particular social question, our focus is really helping substantive researchers make the best use of existing data that they can to provide the most robust, most interesting answers to fundamentally important questions about social, political, and economic phenomena. Our center is mainly interested in, in understanding how countries can foster the development of skills among all uh, participants in society, and as well as how it can ensure that firms are as productive as possible. The center is uh, interested in understanding inequality and why inequality develops and how it repeats itself across generations, uh, largely through differences in human capital and skills of workers uh, and individuals. So the center is particularly interested in how we can measure these inequities and what types of policies and efforts might, might help reduce those inequities. At the same time, the center is interested in sort of getting the most out of individuals and understanding that tension between improving overall productivity and reducing inequality when, when, when possible. The main focus of research that, that we focus on is a, is a recent increase in inequality over the past three or four decades. It has been quite dramatic and happens in many countries, so obviously we want to know the causes and the consequences of this rising inequality. Inequality affects everybody, either in the way that they are getting richer or they are getting poorer, and understanding causes and consequences of this development must be of interest to the public at large. NEST studies social trend and increasing inequality is a social trend. The methods that we use are similar to the methods used by the members of the other centers and by people working in NEST. So there's a methodological similarity um, and potential for collaboration. The center focuses on the question of how we can manage increasing migration and diversity to optimize outcomes for individuals, communities and nations. In Canada, we see immigrants as a benefit, we see immigration as a strength, but if we don't conduct research that helps us to ensure that immigrants uh, integrate successfully and that society is welcoming, there are risks. There are risks of ethnic strife, there are risks that immigrants will not successfully integrate and Canada will not benefit. By collaborating with the researchers in the other centers, conducting work on social inequality, poverty, urban development, justice, we can do better research that will have more of an impact on society today. NEST is concerned with economic and social trends and the work of the center intersects with that because we're concerned particularly with the social and economic implications of conflict and post-conflict reconstruction. Canadians should be especially interested in the work of the Centre for three reasons. First, because of questions of Indigenous people in Canada and the lingering effects of colonialization that the government is still trying to deal with. 
Second, because the Canadian government makes foreign policy decisions about how Canadian taxpayer money should be spent and the implications of that spending in other countries where conflict uh, continues to exist. Third, Canada has been a leader at the national and international level in treaty making and in other kinds of international law and in building institutions like the International Criminal Court. And so Canadians really have a vested interest in the kind of work that the centre does. Most Canadians live in cities and most of the most pressing policy problems that we're dealing with uh, today are to be found in cities. If we think about uh, deindustrialization, post-industrialization, we think about the opioid crisis, we think about social inequality. All of these have a profoundly urban dimension and working within NEST, what we hope to be able to do is uh, mobilize people who do urban research across the Western and uh, put new tools, new information in the hands of, uh, of governments and people in the nonprofit sector. By bringing together faculty and grad students from across our faculty, across all of our disciplines, NEST will make a difference.